Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. As you'll see there, the uh, US 30 had an attempt to break again through potential resistance, break and close above potential resistance at 16,598, but failed to do so. Now posting a doji formation right here. And um, this was obviously in the back of the, you know, the Putin peace talks and then Yellen's testimony about low interest rates for longer term, blah, blah, blah. And then you had uh, Draghi coming out with some uh, some uh, stock boosting comments about the eurozone, um, but also comments that helped to destroy uh, the euro. It came off quite heavily yesterday. Um, so this is still the level to watch today. We pause for breath once again, and it'll be interesting to see if we get a chance to re-challenge that again right now. I can see most markets are pretty flat this morning on the intraday charts anyway. Looking at the UK 100, uh, a very similar picture right here. At it actually just slightly broke through short term resistance at 68.38 before dropping back. We've got two doji formations right here today. Today's close is going to be quite interesting. Obviously, there's still uh, trouble in Ukraine, albeit you know, Putin, uh, Putin has uh, uh, given a shot in the arm to uh, stocks right across the globe, including the own, uh, his own Russian stock market, which is up about 8.5% in the last two days alone. Um, but we are heading into the weekend, and the um, pro-Russian separatists are not cancelling their referendum, and there's still violence over there overnight, so we'll see how things continue to pan out. Looking at the Japan 225, we have seen a little bit of yen buying this morning, but nothing too strong. Um, we have a, had a, this would normally be a bullish engulfing pattern, but we are trading below potential resistance at 14,219. Um, and we are beginning to see some long legged candles yesterday and again today. Um, so there's probably not a huge amount of confidence when you come up close to this 21 period SMA as well that it can break on through. But it'll all be about that dollar yen and its impact on Japan 225. Looking at this just now, wrong side of potential uh, resistance support at 101 spot 80. Uh, there is short term support just slightly below. Last four sessions you can see the long legs of these candles right here. There is buying interest around here which also is the dip of the lows from mid-April. Um, but we've got to be looking at 100 spot 80 on the downside and we've got to get a close above 101 spot 80 uh, and a meaningful close, not just a slight edge up that we had there uh, on Wednesday uh, to be able to re-challenge 102 spot 87. Another quick look at crude oil. Uh, I can see it's actually um, shot up a little bit. Um, we are on the right side of support at 100 spot 61. That's potential support. Um, and we've got a decent candle today and we're actually trading quite close to the top end of the range. Uh, it's not a huge percentage in increase, but um, it's perhaps showing that there is a little bit of interest, uh, buying interest around about 100 spot 61. So looking at gold, so it got absolutely smashed earlier on in the week and is now consolidating around about uh, 1290. Um, wrong side of potential um, support. Now expect attack to the potential resistance, which is also 21 period SMA at 1295. That's the level to beat today and leading into next week. So let's have a look at the euro. It had a really horrible day yesterday. Look at the state of this candle. Um, really unusual to see a candle like this because obviously things were so bullish earlier on in the morning. Um, this is obviously as Draghi was starting to speak and then just completely plummeted. And uh, we're now trading below 38. Um, 63 incredibly uh, dovish comments on the euro and uh, you know this this could be a bit of a game changer for euro dollar uh, for the next uh, for the next couple of weeks and months uh, though it depends a lot obviously on US data now uh, Draghi's very much made it clear um, his thoughts on where the euro wants to go and uh, this is a very uh, negative candle formation to have from a technical analysis perspective but again it's at the mercy of the fundamentals, but we're bouncing around the uh, moving averages. 37.72 is the next potential support. So if we have a look at cable, um, it came off slightly yesterday as well. Um, but I think the kind of mindset here is that the fundamentals behind GBP are still uh, looking pretty strong. Um, you usually get a consolidatory, uh, this is a, a kind of a flag formation here, a kind of consolidation effort. Uh, one spot 7042 is still the potential resistance to beat, which is the 2009 highs. Um, but it looks like we are going to get a consolidation. Check this level right here at the tip of this candle. If we just go into my drawing tools for a second and add that on there, this could be the potential uh, short term support 6923. Now, in regards to economic data, we had um, kind of flat inflationary aspects from China, CPI, PPI pretty much came in at expectations 
slightly down on one, slightly up on the other. Uh, but we do have a whole raft of UK data today at 9.30 UK time. You've got industrial production and UK trade balance data, and that could be the shot in the arm that GBP USD needs. And if we fast forward on to Monday, matter of fact, there's nothing actually coming out of Monday. Uh, we'll have to go on to Tuesday. Uh, and even then, um, we've got uh, retail sales, uh, but medium impact and more Chinese data. Um, so Monday's gonna be pretty much a non-event, potentially. Uh, and Tuesday, we've got some more data uh, acting as a catalyst. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever. We've got some awesome analysis here from uh, some CMC clients and uh, it'd be good for you guys to join in there as well. And uh, make sure you keep your eye on insights going forward. Lots of uh, real cool information from our global analyst team about what's moving the markets today. And join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.